Hi, I'm Jason Russell from Critical Dice, and welcome to The Fabled 42, where we build community through friendship, gaming, and chaos. Uh, you are watching the Duke City Chronicles. It is a Monster of the Week game, uh, and we are live every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 uh, p.m. Pacific. And you can also catch the replay on Tuesday nights at the same time on our YouTube. Um, I uh, want to get into this because we're really excited for the adventure today. Um, before we do, remember in the chat off to the side there, there's going to be an affiliate link that supports this channel. Uh, whenever you use it uh, with my company, Critical Dice. So if you go to thecriticaldice.com and use that link, you're going to get 20% off anything that you buy there that's non-subscription. And it helps me, it helps the channel, and you get shiny uh, math rocks, which is great. And also brand new t-shirts like this one. So uh, that Ooh. I'm very, very proud of. T-shirt so, drop. T-shirt drop. <laughs> uh, so also too, uh, if you can't do that, we totally understand. But hey, like, share, subscribe. If you've got a free subscription from having Amazon Prime, because everyone has Amazon Prime apparently, uh, you can do that. And um, But let's go ahead and get into the intros. Um, Diane, let's start with you. Oh, hey, I am playing Katia Rose. I am the monstrous playbook, half vampire, half human, with a soul. <laughs> oh. Very important. <laughs> and uh, <Presented>. my, <laughs> my actual name is Diane, and you can find me at the Pretty DM. Excellent. Uh, let's go with Bridget. Hi, guys. I'm Bridget. Uh, I'm playing Suki Buchanan. Uh, she is the spooky playbook. Uh, she is an art professor at UNM. And uh, she also talks to ghosts. It's super fun. She's your spooky grandma. And uh, you can find me all over the internet uh, at string underscore theories underscore, uh, especially on Instagram. And, and GW. Oh, hi, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm GW. <laughs> you can find me on IG and Twitter under GW005. That's two Bs and two zeros. You can also find me here every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific. I know the time. On <laughs> Duke City Chronicles, where I uh, play uh, Quavon Whispers, a.k.a. Q. Uh, he's the Divine Playbook, and he's basically the team's angsty angel boy. What's up? That's actually accurate good job and now for less reliable content chris why don't you go ahead <laughs> now hey if i was uh, paying attention enough i would be offended by that but i'm not but mm -hmm. i'm gonna take a note because i don't like how you're talking to me <laughs> wow um my name is ryla reed i am playing the expert playbook yes i still write with feather pens um i'm that old uh I, i'm here for the pew pews of the bang who bangs. is the vampire here <laughs> right yeah I don't for real anymore you're a, you're a millennial vampire. That doesn't even count. That's Ugh. true. That's true. <laughs> I got nothing. No, so that's it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I am Jason Russell. You can find me at Critical Dice on Instagram and Heaven Help Us TikTok. Uh, and we're playing Monster of the Week. And so Monster of the Week is a Powered by the Apocalypse game where uh, some interesting features different than other tabletop RPGs is all my players, they are rolling 2d6 for everything and then uh, adding it to the abilities modifier, things like tough and weird and sharp and cool. Uh, and then I, as the keeper, I don't roll anything. I get to feed on their failure and turn it into difficulty and challenges and torture. Um, and uh, so that's basically how that works. Other than that, it's very much like every other game you've ever played. Uh, one thing that I think is very cool is that every time someone fails a roll, they get a six or less, they get to mark experience. And when they get five experience, they level up right then and there in the middle of the action. And so they can unlock a new power or a feature or ability score increase or something like that right in the middle of the adventure, which sometimes can really change the, the field in a really positive way that will save their lives. So even when you fail, you succeed. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into the intro as we start the Duke City Chronicles. <gasps> it's an amazing place. Most people have no idea where it is, but we're okay with that. We've got mountains, rivers, deserts, and over 300 days of sunshine, and some of the most diverse and wonderful people you'll ever meet. It's a great place to live, and I 
definitely encourage you to try it. But we also have our dark side, our own ghosts, secrets, and legends. Most of them are true. For thousands of years, people have been living here and dying here. This is Albuquerque, but it goes by many names. The 505, the Burke, my favorite is the Duke City. These are the Duke City Chronicles. Yeah, that was the the oh, the pre-show uh, getting rid of the negative energy. Uh, last we left our hunters, they were exploring a haunting, uh, or so it seemed, at a large electronics uh, store here in Albuquerque called Bios. And uh, as they're checking things out, the there was a power fluctuation. The lights went out. Uh, the girls were taking lead on this adventure for various reasons that weren't insulting at all. And uh, they went to go check out the electronics room with all the consumer electronics, and a couple of Android tablets came to life and started attacking them. Uh, the boys ran to find the breaker box to figure out what was going on with the power. When they got into the large appliance room, a table saw and a writing lawnmower came to life and tried to attack them. Uh, Q handily dispatched the table saw, and Riley ran to the breaker box just in time for a man made of electricity to emerge from the breaker box still tethered to it who screamed at riley with rage and static and that's where we left off just a reminder girls you've got three tablets left in front of you which is a weird thing to say and riley you have two of your three hold from read a bad situation uh, which is kind of like a uh, kind of perception check style thing. And you can ask any question you want, not just the ones on the list, because you took an advanced move. That's so, right. So um, because we left you on a cliffhanger, let's have you start, Riley, um, with this electric being in front of you. You're, about, um, you're, a, few, you're a few feet away. Two, I'm going to ask both my questions right now. Uh, what is the be best way to protect the victims, meaning us? And mm -hmm. what is the best way out? Um, okay, so best way to protect the victims. Um, to protect yourselves, I think that you realize that a person made of electricity is probably the one controlling these appliances. And if you can get him distracted, defeated, or um disconnected somehow that would probably drop everything else going on in that in the room uh in the store and then your best way out um is probably your best way out is probably either going to be well there's two options there's the front doors but you have to go back through all the other electronics there's a back door here but it's going to take you closer to the electric man so those are your two best options, and they each have a pro and con. Got it. Um, and if I'm remembering correctly, he's at the junction box where I was he trying is. to turn the power off. Right, and there's a little ladder not too far from him that leads up to the roof access, and then off to, his, off to your left, maybe about 10 feet, is the back door. Could I deduce that if I turned the power off, he would go bye-bye? Uh, absolutely, but the problem is there's already no power in this room, in the building, or at least the lights went off. So lights are off, light up boys right in front of me. Is mm -hmm. Can I notice if the junction box is turned on or off? Um, yeah, I'll give you that with that. Um, it looks like some of the breakers are still on and some of them are in the fault position where they've been uh, tripped. Uh, and Q is near me? Uh, Q is about 10 feet back uh, dealing with a riding lawnmower. Hi, Q. Uh, I think we should try. What? Why? Because you light up just like this guy. Electric man, what's up? <laughs> and he's gonna like put put the the hammer like on his on his shoulder. He's gonna like walk over, and he's gonna like, put his hand out to try to give Riley kind of like a high five, like tag him in. Ooh. Yeah, like tag team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does Riley allow? Like yeah, man. It's like, yeah. why 2K in here? Hurry up. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, 
Uh, right, I'll, you go I'll ahead. walk in uh, in front and have like my my hammer on my shoulder, and I'll kind of like uh, look him up and down. And he's he's also kind of like looking at you, and he's got kind of almost like a fight or flight stance, and his arms are out, like kind of trying to figure out what to do with this situation. It's kind of the vibe, like he's trying to figure out if he can get around you, if you're going to attack or or what. But he's like, it's very fight or flight kind of scenario. I see. Okay. Uh, with my and just to let everyone know, like this is like an anime hammer. Like it is like just too big for any normal person to be wielding. Uh, right, like the hammer that she pulls out of the purse and Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, so you are the, the pulser guys, yeah? It just is like, you see it like crackle with energy, it flares up a little bit and dies down, and it starts to make an arc around you to the side, like he's gonna try to like circle you or move past you. Uh, who's behind me besides Riley? Is like a door t- exit behind me? Um, this is a big room, kind mm-hmm. of almost like a like a Walmart, like electronic section, you know. And then there's oh. another kind of like section mm-hmm. off from that that's also large. That is where the girls are. But this is a very open space, so if you yell, they could hear you. You have the radios. Suki has telepathy, so you have got a lot of options here. But you're you're the next closest person to you is Riley, who's trying to figure out how he's going to kill a lawnmower. I'm jumping on the seat. Uh, sweet. So as as Riley does that, and uh, he's he's taking care of that situation, I'm gonna look at this electric being who I see is kind of edging like a little bit past me, and I'll, I'm gonna be I'll, I'll just say to it, uh, the two you're looking for are the other room. He like, and looks back at you, <laughs> and starts walking away, and the trails of electricity are like psh, psh, jumping all around. Um, and like hitting like different light poles. It seems like he's almost always tethered to something electrical, an outlet, a power supply, a, a light bulb, something like that. And he kind of walks past you and heads towards the girls. Uh, as, he, as he walks past or it or they walk past, I'm going to just on my headset, uh, hey girls, heads up, you're about to have company. And then now I'm gonna walk to Riley. Jess realized why you did that. Okay, uh, Riley, uh, you said you're going to jump on the seat of this lawnmower. Yep. Great. Uh, let's act under pressure, please. Uh, I will do that. Um, do I have a thingy for that? Let me just make sure. Under pressure should be um, plus cool. No, I was thinking if I had advance on it or anything like that. I don't think I do. No. Plus cool. That is a six. Total? Okay, great. Um, go ahead and mark experience. Um, so you, like, leap to, like, grab the wheel and sit on the on the seat, and it cranks itself towards you, and you overshoot it and land on the ground. As it stops, you hear it and start backing up, um, and you're going to take uh, two points of harm as it hits you and some of the blades, they kind of like rise up onto your seat, onto your feet, and it starts to like chop at your shoes and kind of get in your shins a little bit. Ow! Too harm. If you have armor, that'll help too. I don't have armor for some reason. Sweet. Riley, careful, man, careful. All right, girls, uh, you've got three Samsung tablets that are still like uh, pelting you, as you discovered earlier, though. Um, they don't do a lot of harm, and so between your vampire nature and the magical uh big hunter's neckerchief uh you guys seem to be okay with this um and haven't really gotten hurt it's more annoying than anything um does my hunter's thing go off uh when before or after q says yeah he says that and you and you feel it go off and you turn and filling the entire doorway is this guy who's completely made of electricity feel looks solid but like almost like how a porcupine has like quills all over it this has like just like jets of electricity coming off as it's like sw- like you know those those things in science class you put your hand on the ball uh and the electricity shoots up and touches you it's like that but no ball and just the room around you okay um seeing this large spiky electric being uh, I'm gonna cast Jinx on it. 
Great. Tell me what Jinx does again. We haven't used that in a while. I know. I forgot about it, and then mm. I remembered it. Um, so Jinx, uh, I can encourage coincidences to happen the way that I want. Uh, when I Jinx a target, I roll plus weird. On a 10, hold two. On a seven to nine, hold one. On a miss, the keeper holds two over you to be used in the same way. And there's like a list of things that I can do with uh, Jinx. I would go like ahead. to... Go ahead and roll the plus weird. And let's see how many you get and then make a decision. And then we're coming to you, Katia, next, if you want to be thinking. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, so that was uh, 10 on the die, plus three is a 13. So yeah, so that's a 12 so plus, so you get to do two effects. Two, yes. Um, so I would like to interfere uh, with the monster, mm -hmm. um, for sure. And I think the way that that mani manifests is like, uh, I would love if the whole like junction box just like blew out like it like it's using too much power and now it mm -hmm. fully shuts down everything is tripped there's no way he can get any sort of power from anywhere because I think that would be Suki's first thing is like oh it's, yeah. it's electric turn it off yeah no I love that um, so yeah, yeah you you do your like your jinx and uh, cue behind you you hear the power box go as all the rest of the breakers all pop and you see the electric man double over and just like groan and he's pulling himself up and he reaches out to a window uh not too far from you guys which is like all uh got the the big iron uh bars on it and he just like changes to where his arm reached and the in the window is not doesn't get busted or anything it's just the bars are now electrified and as you kind of like go over it, Cassie, I think you're a little bit closer to here. You can see it actually, uh, he's like slowly walking through the, the parking lot and he's headed towards the nearest power pole. Uh, Katia, what would you like to do? And you still have one hold there, Suki, unless you want to use it right now. I do. Um, I would like, yeah, <laughs> I'm impatient. Um, no, no, not at all. <laughs> I, my special boy. My special boy, my boy ended my boy um i would like i would like to grant uh katia a plus one forward uh i, I have to do that by interfering with their enemy mm -hmm. um so so i think we could wait and see what she wants to do and then apply it that way backwards sounds good <laughs> i was like i don't know what she wants to do mm -hmm. yeah go ahead katia what do you want to do um well i'd like to try and i would have tried to slash at it with my um the gladius 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 um as it's like going through the window oh that's great yeah and your gladius hits incorporeal things and mm -hmm. i think this absolutely counts let's let's see it uh make that attack and you get a plus one uh, okay so that is because of my unholy strength I use plus weird so it's 10. 10, excellent. So you deal two harm, I think? Yes. Excellent. So you see him do that, and Suki reaches out to, like, t kind of telekinetically, like, slow him down. You see a little, like, catch in uh, in the transfer. It gives you just enough of a moment to slash, and the Gladius glows bright as it goes through this arc of electricity that would, would, would be his torso, and and you hear it uh, kind of cry out again in static and uh you feel like you got a good hit but he uh still got away um He's nothing sorry <laughs> I, nothing 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 no, no. Don't, you heard nothing I sorry, new equipment. Um, and uh, and gets away, but you can see him even clearer now because we're closer to the window, and you can see he's uh, about halfway to the power pole, so he's trying to escape. Um, uh, the good news is is that uh, Chris, the lawnmower, as it's on top of you, just cuts off. The remaining three tablets just clatter to the floor and don't move, uh, and you're in the electronics store now and it's dark and it's quiet 
and you hear the hum of electricity out in the parking lot. Cute. Uh, That's not what I asked for your help for. Damn it. Did Q? Uh, Q I'm Q. Did <laughs> Riley see Q allow the guy just to go? I'm standing no, right he there. Was, he, when you did that, he had already said, I'm going to try and jump on the chair. Right. And so he was like mid-jump while that happened. Okay. Um, but I heard it right. in the earpiece that the guy... That he let the guy... Well, not that he let the guy go, but he didn't stop the guy from going to the girls. Right? Because I heard an earpiece. You said it? Yeah, you have an earpiece, but it's like a walkie-talkie. You have to hit the button to activate. So like, I see what you're saying, but I don't think necessarily you would have heard that because of the way those work. It's not like an open phone call. It's Yeah, but if, if, if he pushes the walkie-talkie to speak to all of us... Mm -hmm. You would hear it. I but... would have heard it. Yeah, I only, you... I, I, I only pressed it to say, uh, hey, girls, uh, heads up, you have to have company. Right. So yeah. you did hear that part. Yeah, that's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, sorry. Well, um, uh, Q will, will look at him and just say, right, it's fine. They, they got it. They got it. I have a lawnmower on top of me, Q. I thought that you would have gotten it quicker. You wanted me to talk to him. I wanted you to kill him. I didn't want you to talk to him. Katia's going to walk over like into the room where the, the the boys are. The second she walks in, I stop talking. I'm going to get this damn thing off. My... What's uh what was happening? Did you see the electric guy that was like Yeah, electric? It, yeah, it like blasted through the window and it's like in the parking lot. I know it blasted through the window because my sword went through it while it was happening. And I'm going to go over to Riley and try to take the lawnmower off. I'll yeah. help with my unholy strength. Did, did the guy actually make it to the telephone pole or is he still struggling? Uh, towards he, the he's pole? struggling, but now he's about three fourths of the way there. He's still headed that way. Um, uh, I can't tell if the rivalry between Katia and Q is amazing or it needs to be addressed, but keep going. <laughs> it's spicy for it's sure. Both. I think it's both actually. Um. Uh, where where did he go? Where did he go? Suki is gonna, uh, she's heading out towards the parking lot and she's mm -hmm. also telekinetically saying, ding dong, he hasn't gotten away yet. We still got a chance. Can somebody please come out and help me? And I'm still, I'm going outside. <laughs> okay. As well, I'm saying this in I'll, I'll follow once uh, Riley is not. Oh, I'm fine, fine. Really yeah. Lawnmower. Yeah, between the two of you, you can easily move that. That's not a big problem. And uh, he's got a little, couple of wounds, but he's not, you know, unstable or anything in that context. Um, Suki, you run out there just as he's reaching the power pole, and you see him just, like, do that same maneuver. He reaches up, and the electricity flows like water into the pole, and you see it, like, sit with sparks at the little minor uh, cylinder transformer at the top, and you could see the electricity going from that pole to the next pole, like he's traveling from spot to spot. Can I try to jinx it again? She doesn't really care if the whole, uh, if all of Our grid goes down. power. Yeah, she'll she'll shut the whole grid down. I mean, uh, it, it'll shut down for less than that. Go ahead. Yeah, all right, great. <laughs> the voice of experience. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not as good. Um, it... Oh, it's, it's still an 11. Really? Yeah, wow. It a, yeah, it was an eight, 8 on the die. Wait, yeah. Yes, that's 11. 8 plus 3? 8 plus 3. <laughs> Great, yeah. You got two jinxes. What do you want to do? Uh, I would like to uh, shut down the, the escape route. Like, I would like to shut down as many of the... I Like, blow out the, consist, the transistor box. You know... Electricity yeah, yeah. words. Yeah, um, well, basically the little transformer <laughs> that's up there that's kind of keeping the voltage up. Yeah, um, transformers. Yeah, and like, it, it, is that in the context of what the Jinx power says you can do? Uh, it says. Sorry, sorry. Let me just. I have too many different tabs open. Um, oh, we all. <laughs> uh, inter interfere. Uh, I can encourage coincidences to occur. So I think the coincidence that I would like is that he overpowers this. There's too much. It's like a power surge. Okay. Like, so what I'll it say can't that, handle. Right. The way I'll say it, it happens is this, is that um, 
basically like one of the wires like pops and you see even more sparks uh, coming from that transformer as he starts to move to the next one and it happens again and you think what you've done is slowed him down as opposed to cut him off proper um and he's still going pretty fast but um i would say that you could still you could follow him in the car if you wanted oh i i would he's like he's like le- yeah he's leaving the destination but yeah if you guys can rally together you probably get very easily follow him in the car all right, uh, then Suki's gonna save her other hold and go, mm-hmm. get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, he's running. And she's gonna run over to her Mustang. Do you slide across the, across the hood? Oh, hell yeah. But I then she lands and, and she's like, oh, oh, ah, oh no, you're hip, you're hip. <laughs> <laughs> her, her sciatica be- <laughs> catches up to her like, oh, ah, can't vote at it anymore. I have the All Hummer, right. don't I? Um, yeah, you brought the, you brought both, actually. Oh. It's not the Mustang, is it? You guys were driving in style. Oh, rats. I you forgot guys, it was the Hummer. No wonder you got hurt. The Hummer's hood is way too hot. <laughs> she just, like, way hits the side. High. There's no and way it's lumpy. she's going to Yeah, it's lumpy. Yeah, so the, 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 the original Hummer's out there you got from the Obsidian Order. So, yeah, like, you, you float the door open. You're like, come on, come on. Is everyone running out to there, or do you guys want to be salty inside the... I'm kidding. Uh, what do you guys no, I had, already, I had already followed Suki. Okay, great. Yeah. Boys? I'm I'm in the Hummer. I'm gonna push the red button. I'm kidding. Um, um, I'm all. Wait, did I? Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, you guys hop in. Uh, the back part being bigger on the inside than the outside. Riley gets behind the wheel, and because of what Suki did, it's pretty easy to see that each of these transformers is kind of blowing as he passes through them, kind of slowing him down while he has to take a second to kind of. Uh, gear up for the next leap and so you're able to drive like 30 45 miles an hour through the surface streets following him um to where he's going um it, you guys want to try to do anything in route or do we describe where he ends up what's uh, playing yeah, I, I don't think there's anybody i don't know i don't know how to fight an electric man besides turn it off but i i i mean anybody <laughs> uh should we just wait and see where he goes? Like, anybody got anything that can, like, zap an electric man from here? I got a whammy, but I feel like it won't um, really work. You got an I EMP? Can... What's EMP? Mm. Electromagnetic pulse. It shuts down all electricity and things. No, I'm just, that's that's probably <laughs> excessive. Um, <laughs> I mean, that would probably work, but yeah. You know what? I wonder I... if Detective Grant would have something, access to something like that. No, he probably wouldn't. I, you always ask. Go I, I would. I would like to in, uh, investigate a mystery. To, okay, as, go ahead. As, as we're all talking and thinking about how to take this electric person down, I want to just think back on what I've heard or seen or blah blah blah. Right. So this is this is a mobile planning scene. Yeah. Go ahead. Investigate a mystery. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So everyone's just kind of like going back and forth. I'm just kind of thinking to myself, "Oh, that's not bad." Uh. Uh. And that is plus sharp, I believe. I think so. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, plus sharp, I have none of that. So it's gonna be a total of 10. Excellent. Uh, so I can hold two. First thing yeah. is, um, uh, what can hurt it? What can hurt it? So um, you've learned from before that when, uh, I'm sure by now you know Suki caused the breakers to go. Mm -hmm. Um, And the way that you saw him kind of having those like tendrils of electricity always around him, reaching out to other things, that he is an autonomous being, but he still needs to be connected to electricity, to Mm -hmm. a power source. Um, And when he was cut off from that, Suki saw him incredibly weakened and even slowed down, uh, which is interesting considering he's made of, you know, excited electrons. so uh so getting him away from a power source would definitely hurt him copy that and my second question would be um we already we already know what kind of creature it is i'll hold i'll hold my second one because i can't think of a good one right now uh okay. but but as they're going back and forth i just stop and think and i remember what i saw um in in the middle of like their yelling and planning um q will yell out it has to be connected to something i when when suki did what she did with with the breaker 
it weakened it and it started to move slower when it left so it needs something to power itself so i think if we keep it away from anything electronic maybe it'll be easier to con to handle so what you're saying is we just yeah, need to like lure it into like an amish neighborhood or something yeah, but why would it go to a place with no electricity? You'd have to take it somewhere with a lot of electricity and then shut that electricity down. So then we're back on the EMP thing. Well, you, yeah. see, you see Q like look behind, cause like I'm, I'm guessing that cat is sitting behind him and he's like, he's gonna look behind her and just kind of like raise an eyebrow like, nice, <laughs> yeah. Well, can we like, trap it or trick it almost maybe we set up somewhere that's the only source of power mm -hmm. i don't know one right. of the one of y'all techie ones like yeah exactly like you're saying if we set up something that is the only source of power and we are able to contain it is that even a thing that we can do i'm gonna look around the magic school bus here like for any <laughs> sort of future well, where is somewhere probably outside of the city that we could lure it to. I mean, there's plenty of desert always, but it's not well, really. Yeah, gonna there you go. The go desert. We'll there. take him to the desert, and we'll get him to yeah, start making glass with gonna, the sand. How are we going to get it to the desert? Yeah. It's going to go where electricity is. We got to. Does this car put out any extra like boost of electricity? Well, I mean, it has this battery and its internal uh, systems, um, and the back door does lead back to your new base at the rail yards. As I um, There's those Faraday cages. start thinking again, ooh, ooh, yeah. um, and, I, and I, I saw it look kind of, when it first appeared and me and Riley switched, it was like very, it seemed confused and fight, fight or flight or whatever. My last, my second and last question is, what was it going to do? What do I feel like it was going to do? What it was going to do was do what it had done before. And it seemed to have been activating these electronics and appliances and then having them literally walk out the door uh, and, and then he's taking them to some unknown location he he was literally taking electronics from the store by giving them a sense of a, a, a some ability of locomotion he's a pride piper nonsense Riley. yeah uh, oh well, i was about to tell you but yeah yeah basically <laughs> that's not uh, bad <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if it's actually uh, aggressive. It didn't it didn't hurt us. It didn't hurt me. It actually seemed almost like it was trying to avoid me. But it was trying to a lawnmower tried take, to cut me into little pieces, man. The lawnmower did, but not the thing. But he's pulling the strings for the lawnmower. Exactly, he's pulling the strings and trying to make them follow him for some reason. Yeah. Well, maybe he can't do much by himself. Like, he needs his little minions to not only provide him power, but also fight for him. Uh, Keeper. Yeah. Do we happen to see a trail of electronics by any chance? Uh, no. Uh, which is surprising, because you've gone probably about a good mile now, and you're closer to the fairgrounds. Uh, on the other side of the mall, uh, other side of I-40. And uh, as you're thinking about this and looking around, you actually can see that kind of like arc of electricity hit another pole and then go down to the ground to some building nearby. Um, but there are no trail of anything. So, but then again, Peggy, the wife of the owner did say it's been happening over the last couple of nights. And so, he didn't wasn't successful tonight it seems but previous nights maybe he did and maybe they got to go where they were going to go hmm. i share that with the team okay um riley you pulled into the parking lot of the building where uh the electricity came down um it's and you look at the address and it says 115 california and you see a row of like three or four uh, uh, office buildings uh, on a strip mall in an empty parking lot. Um, and uh, everything is like closed and dark. And uh, the closest one 
to where you guys pulled in and also closest to the power pole uh, seems to have, um, seems to be abandoned and empty. But all of them are dark and closed, like no one's working tonight. Is this a strip mall from my, uh, my vision? Yeah, yes, it it's, is. It's got bars on the windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of things here, yeah. Uh, Y'all, I've seen this strip mall before, and when I saw it, there was a dead security guard. Huh. Are the bricks still like that light beige color? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Did, in my vision, did I see... Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Did I see where the security guard was? Like, can he, I get he a... Was, he was inside, lying face down in his own blood uh, in a a office building that an office space that looked empty okay um i think he's gonna kill the next security guard that he finds um we sh we should go in there let's, let's go. go i started getting up now, the car as what well, if he's killing people he's probably electrocuting them right that wouldn't necessarily make That's them why. bleed That's that's, that's a good point katia Sorry, did you I make that blood. point out loud? No, yeah, I did. <laughs> if not, Suki just read your mind. It's fine. Um, <laughs> that's my one get out of jail free card. I love that so much. Um, oh, well, okay. Well, I think we uh, we all still go in there. Probably. Okay, so, so you're going to head to that first one that looks empty. Um, let me go ahead and let's get a team... Uh, read a bad situation and um, if everyone succeeds I'll mitigate that in a second I don't want you guys to be able to like hold seven questions or something it's a ten. I have I have eight. no sharp a ten a and eight nine uh, for me I got a I got an eight as well okay great um, the team has three quite hold three and um, I will let uh, Riley ask first since he has the highest roll. Kind of like a group perception check, right? All right. Uh, this is read a, read a bad situation? Yes. I have advanced on that, so does that not apply for this? What, what did you get, a 10? Yeah. Um, on a 12 plus, you can do oh, advanced. It's a 12 plus. Got it, got it, got it. Mm -hmm. um, I think. Wait, let me double check. Um, in, in regards to the, the security guard, um, what's the yeah. best way to protect the victim? Best way to protect the victim? Um, you know that sometimes uh, Suki's visions show information that is going to happen or information that has happened. So yeah. if this is a situation where it hasn't happened yet, um, then getting him out of the building might be the easiest way to protect him because this room appears to be where he'll die. So just getting him out of the situation might be enough. Got it. Do we see him anywhere? Um, anybody else want to ask questions from there? Um, yes. I have okay. a question. Yeah, go ahead, Katya. Yeah. Um, are there any dangers we haven't noticed yet? Yes, um, of course there are. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, so um, you notice um, a couple of things. Um, you notice that the building uh, here on the outside, closest to the power pole, it's blackened and charred um, near where the power runs to it, like this thing has gone through here a bunch of times. Um, you also notice that there is a flashlight or some kind of light source moving slowly around inside the empty building. Um, it's not a direct threat, but it is a, a, a danger. Who wants to use their last hold? I will. Go ahead. Um, and just before I ask, there, there are multiple buildings here, right? Like we, yeah, they, 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 okay. they touch each other, you know, mm -hmm. like a, like, and then they kind of go out like that. So there's probably four of them here. After uh, hearing that there might be a possible death, or it might happen, or it may happen, whatever, and there's a, I hear another threat from Katya in another space, 
and uh, all the above. Uh, my question is, what is the best way in to try to help this man before he dies? Okay, so um, you're kind of looking and there's the obvious front door um, and there's probably a back door just because of like building codes and things. Um, and what I'm going to say is like, you kind of like, do you want to like walk around towards the back to see if you can see if there's another way in or do you want to kind of confine it out here to the, to the front of the building? Oh, I'll ask the team, uh, shall we, uh, Suki, you said that you saw this, this man in your vision did in, in the front of the building, but maybe we, we should also have someone going through the back too. What, what do you think? What do we think? Uh I mean, I think that's a good ad good an idea as any. I think a flanking position is a better position always, right? I agree. Uh, what teams do you think should What team should, do you think should go in the back, and what teams do you think should go to the front? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd go up through the front for sure, uh, since I'm less threatening, since I am one of the elderly. Uh, anybody else want to come with me? I'll go with you. All right, great. Right, and then if y'all right. want to take the back? Yep. All right. Fine and dandy. All right. Great. Uh, so you boys head towards the back. Um, uh, Katia, you try the door and it's actually unlocked. Oh, well. Perfect. I want to just um, open it a little bit and then I would like to smell if I can smell any blood. Oh, excellent. Um, because it's blood in particular, d does your sheet say anything about that? Um, like, uh, like I, I gain don't... advantage on read about situations using smell? Th there's some playbooks that do that. So before I, I answer, I wanted to ask. I don't remember seeing that, but let me look. Okay. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, great. So what I will say then for you, you don't even need to roll. Like, if there was a pool of fresh blood, you would absolutely smell it. Um, yeah. And so you kind of open and you just kind of give a, and th there's nothing. Like, it smells like just an old, dusty office building. Um, and so, yeah, there's no, like, fresh, uh, fresh kills here. All right, Suki. I don't think he's been killed yet. And I'm going to um, push the door open so I can get a good look of what's going on inside here. So you guys step in and it's pretty dark. There's some light from outside. Uh, Suki, you, as you step in, you're just like, oh, this is it. Like you're standing almost in the exact same place you were in your vision. And you can even see like the part of the floor where the body had been and there's no stain, no body. So you're, uh, so you're like, okay, well that hasn't happened yet at least. And you guys are looking around and there's just like, there's like a single desk here uh there's um a few like there's a bunch of chairs like stacked up in a corner uh there's a few empty cabinets um one of the light fixtures uh from the fluorescence has kind of like fallen down halfway and uh there's like a second room and then looks to be near the back like a little kitchenette area and that's where the light is kind of playing around uh back there suki realizing that nobody's died yet does one little like <laughs> caught him <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, now, Suki, yeah, it could be the guy back I, there. I think it is. Uh, we ha we gotta get him out of here somehow. Um, hmm, do you want to say we had car trouble or something? Men really love lo like you know helping women when they have car trouble. Really? I mean, I you mean, own a car. I guess you would know. I've never it, owned one. It is an unfortunate truth, but I mean can be used to our advantage. That's not my accent, I'm sorry. Advantage. <laughs> Should we call out or? I, I think so, I think we can do it. All right, hang on, hang on. All right, so car trouble. All right, he's not gonna be able to know how the Hummer works anyway. Uh, hello, uh, excuse me, uh, anybody? The, the light kind of ambient glow suddenly turns straight towards the front of the building and you hear footsteps Hello? Excuse hi. me, who's there? Oh, hi. hi. Hi, 
we're so sorry. Hi, that door was unlocked. Um, we're just having a little itty bitty speck of car trouble. Um, it doesn't look like y'all have a phone or anything here. I, I, we just can't get it figured out. Could you happen to help us out with a jump or something? Are y'all saying this really loud? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, would I, say, I, I went in yeah. a different door, correct? Yeah, yeah. You and I are going through the through the back. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. What happened well, to the truck? What do you mean that we have trucks broken? <laughs> Riley, shut up! No. They didn't no. tell. Me. They didn't tell me. They didn't My tell me. How are you guys going to get in the... There is a back door. It's oh, okay. locked. What do you want to do there? No, I'm willing to let this happen because this can happen at the same time. This is fair. Man, man, I wanted to talk to Riley a little bit before that, but it's fine. No, no, um, we, can, we can talk. We can talk. I, for some reason, you, thought we went in the back door at the same time. And yeah, obviously... Yeah, you guys walked around. In. They kind of talked a little bit, looked around, yeah. sniffed, Sorry. and then they called out. So you have, a, you have like maybe like a full minute before these two scenes will collide. Gotcha. So, okay. Uh, as we're walking uh, uh, to the back... Um, Q kind of like leans in a little bit to Riley. Um, that's that's kind of cool back there. Uh, Cat kind of reminded you, reminded me of you for a second. What now? <laughs> on the way here, we're Riley. <laughs> <laughs> on the way here, when we were talking about possible plans and, and everything, and she came up with two good ones, like the, the blood. Um, finding putting it in an area where it can be overwhelmed with electricity but then we turn off the power those are good ideas kind of like it would they would be from you i'm impressed you impressed they might have been my ideas or are you impressed that, that she had the ideas that were like my ideas <sighs> Let, let's just say uh this training course they're on right now man you're impressed. still going on about this training course they're doing good what do you want is this door locked? Yes. No, I don't know if, if you're going to hack it or if Riley has, like, thieves tools or basically or whatever. I mean, of course he has lockpick and tools. I don't even need to roll for that. Do I have uh -huh. to roll for that? Um, <laughs> I have that perk. Yeah, don't you have a, like, you have um, a thing where you can just kind of have stuff, right? Yeah, my armor, my armory. Yeah, well, go ahead and make the armory roll for me. We'll say that this was... We'll let you do it, you know, after the uh, fact. I love the idea that Riley's armory is just like the back pocket of his jeans. Well, like okay, every so time he needs anything, it's just like, oh, this. The armory. Well, te so technically, I misspoke. The armory is back at at the base. Preparedness right. is the skill where I oh. I reach in my pocket and pull out something that I. You just I happen have. to have the right thing. Yes. Yeah. I thought that there, was, there was a, so a power like that. So that's an eight on the die, and it's sharp. So that's plus three. So, so yeah, you've got yes. it. Yeah, so you you like you like lift your shirt and pull it out from like an inner pocket from your pants, and you open up the little kit. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that because you have this thing, I like, know, no problem. You you pop oh. that lock, no problem. You're like uh, it's a master lock, and you're like, oh, I know how to do these here. Watch, and you just pull it down, and you guys start creeping through the back door. About the same time, you hear Suki uh, giving this story about car trouble. Do you want to stay, make canon the thing you said before, Riley? Well, if, I, if I'm being fair with us talking and walking around the building and then picking a lock, they'd probably say it like as I was finishing lock picking, if I would be fair. Yeah, so, I, 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 it, this is the offer I'll give you is that you pop the lock, you open the door, and, says, and you hear, yeah, the, the, our car is just broken down. We don't know how to fix it. So in that instance, it'd be like, what the hell did she just say? What's wrong with our car? Uh, I think she's just trying to, I don't know, coax the guy or something. Coax, uh, coax <laughs> the guy. Uh, Suki, uh, did you, uh, could you roll uh, manipulate someone, please? Yes, and I think I have a special thing with my telepathy that says I can roll plus weird with that. Yeah, oh. you can, you can do that, uh, but. The downside is, is that they know that you'll be that you're in their head. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Never mind. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get inside this poor guy's skull. He's almost dead tonight. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Katya does not care. Um, 
What's that? Uh, that, that is uh, a nine. A nine. So they'll do what you say only if you give them a good reason why. Okay. Or, yeah, I think that's that's how that reads. Let me double check, but go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, did, did he, like, challenge me in any way or anything? Like, it was... Um, yeah, just he's just... Like... Yeah, he's like, we're, well, I can't really leave the uh, everything unguarded. Like, where, where are you guys parked? Oh, we're just, we're right outside. Uh, yeah, if you, like, look out the window there. Yeah, uh, that, is it that... the guy? Yeah, this is the, this is the guy. From, oh, absolutely. Okay. Same blonde hair with, like, the kind of salt and pepper on the sides. Uh, about halfway between your two ages. Brass name plate on the side, on the chest pocket that says Dunnigan. And he's like, oh, you're out there by the plaque. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, if you have the keys, we'll just pop the hood and take a quick look. But I really can't spend too long uh, doing that. But um, I... oh, of course not. We, I can't even tell you how much this means to us, honey. Thank you so much. We're on a cross country drive, and it, this thing just keeps it keeps going like blah 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 blah, blah and then kachunk, and then after the kachunk, that's when it really starts to like stall out and then we can't seem yeah. to get it back up and run it i think it might just be a jump thing but you know i i don't really know that much about cars anyway so why don't you come on out here and like she's just yeah. gonna keep like blah blah he, blah, 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 blah he walks to the hood while you're talking to him he's like yeah i was like you're doing cross country and this big old thing the gas mileage must be terrible you yeah, going east yeah. or west oh we we're uh we're going west we're heading to california you know <laughs> uh we wanted to go all across the country mostly about the uh the southern uh bit of the united states i don't know if you can tell but i'm from tennessee myself but i ain't never been west you know further west than that so i was like we gotta see all the flyover states i'm tired of seeing mountains i'm looking for plains i'm looking for buffalo and my sweet little friend here decided to come with me this is actually her car uh it's real nice it's it's lovely on you know, uh, it's lovely on the wheels because I get real car sick and I need a good suspension oh, under me. Yeah, stop me at any time. <laughs> uh, do you do you have the keys? Can we pop the hood? Yeah, absolutely. And she's gonna real like check her pockets mm -hmm. and pretty theatrically. Oh, oh, wouldn't she? Wouldn't she just know? Wouldn't she just I, know? I would like to gaze into his eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Roll it. <laughs> uh, random, you, random question while she's doing that is the parking lot on the California street side or on the 66 side uh, <laughs> California oh phew are you looking at Google Maps no <laughs> uh, I already, I already put a, a picture of the actual building in the chat that's a 13 oh, I'm not looking at chat uh, 13 uh, yeah. yeah so what's that read that's um, hold 3 Okay, what do you want him to do? He's 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 your your meat puppet. And I see his name tag. It says Dunnigan. It says Dunnigan. Dunnigan, we would really appreciate it if you would go find the part we need and really make sure it's the right part. And if you could also stop at the store and get us some coffees too. And I need the one the the coffee shop on the other side of town and i'm going to name a coffee shop that's far away yeah i mean you could do like little bear which is like a good 20 30 minute round trip that's where you had your date with uh yeah uh, with detective Grant. i think that i would probably name that um he and he's just like okay and he walks to the other side of the parking lot where you can see the, like, this little like uh, little accord and he pulls out his keys and he drives away and I'm not sure if that's considered driving under the influence but okay um, I'm just so... going to look at Suki and be like we've got some time, let's go oh god, thank you, I don't think I could have said much more, there were just words coming you out of were, that point. you were rambling real hard I oh, yeah. don't know where you were going with that but I didn't you don't either. have the keys Riley has the keys. I know. He always has the keys to the Hummer. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I thought most of the way through, but sometimes not all the way through. Okay. All right. And so, I, oh, boys, back to the building. What, Suki? What? I I forgot. Um, he's already gone, right? What's up? I I was hoping, like, while he was under the thrall, if 
she could make him check his breast pocket to see if he has a tarot card in there. Um, if you want, you could like run over real quick and just like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you have a good trip, and I'm just gonna like pop pop and like <laughs> see nope. if he has any. <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> All right, have a good one. <laughs> She's gonna get out of it. All right, boys, what what were you doing in the meantime? You've got the run of the place. Is there uh, uh, uh industrial sink? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to find... Well, a, I mean, a bigger sink, yeah. I'm going to find a bucket and fill it with water. All right, great. I like where your head's at. Q? Uh, I'll... Uh, that threw G... That threw G... <laughs> 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 the... I want to see what's all in this room before I start helping him with get get this water. Oh god. Uh great, let's investigate a mystery. Okay. Here we go. And this is plus sharp, I believe. Mhm. Mm I have none of that. Uh so I got a total of 6. 6 mark experience. Okay. Um you uh don't really see much more than what I described before. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. Um, you think if you probably turned on some lights, you might be able to see better. Um, but it's pretty much just these three rooms, like an, a waiting room, a main room, and then the kind of dinette, uh, kitchenette kind of area there with a little closet off to the side that has the bigger, like, janitorial sink that Riley's using right now. Um, but uh, what I will add is this is, um, girls, as you're walking back uh, to the building, you notice uh, something you didn't see before. Uh, and Dunnigan actually mentioned it briefly. There's a, a plaque on the side of the um, of the building um, that you kind of catches your eye, and it's really the first word that makes you kind of go like, "Wait, what? What did that say?" And just before you enter in, you see the plaque, and it reads, "Microsoft Incorporated, founded at this site in 1975, and headquartered in Albuquerque until 1979." And that's where we're going to end our episode. Oh, no. Ooh, well, that's <laughs> nifty. Mm. So, nice. guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please join us next week, uh, the same Albuquerque time, same Albuquerque channel, uh, for the next episode of uh, episode six, The Orphan, um, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon of Pacific time and 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can catch the VOD if you missed part of this uh, here on Twitch or on Tuesday, same times on our YouTube channel. Uh, but until then, Albuquerque is a weird place. Let's keep it that way. Ooh.